Hey YouTube, I'm here because I've been getting HelloFresh now for several months and I decided that I wanted to show you how easy it is to prepare the meal. Um, the one I'm going to be preparing today is sheet pan Dijon onion crunch chicken. You see, they even have a nice little picture of it. Everything that's included in your bag and instructions are on the back. Super simple, easy. I love it because I get, let's see, once a week, every Tuesday, I get three meals for four servings because there's four of us in the family. Um, yeah, that's enough for us to eat. No, we don't have enough for leftovers, but that's fine uh, because, you know, we have like sandwiches and tuna that we use for our lunch we need be. So I'm just going to go through, I'm going to get everything out of the bag. Um, so first, everything that's in, that's required for the meal is in this bag. Um, and there's chicken. The chicken is separate. It's in the fridge. I will be removing that and getting that together. So I have now removed everything from the bag. So you see we have, of course, this was not in the bag. The meat is separate. You, know, you want to keep your meat separate. But you see we have two packs of chicken cutlets. There's two in each one. Because remember, we're doing a servings of four. Garlic powder. Honey Dijon mustard. The green beans. The ciabatta bread. French fried onion. And a Monterey Jack cheese. And those are the items we'll be using in our menu tonight. All right. All right, so my oven has been preheated to 425. One of the steps that it says to do is to pat the chicken dry. So that's what I'm doing. Heat side. I'm kind of drying off the plate too, so it won't be wet when you flip it over. So the thing about HelloFresh, so your oils, your salt and pepper, butter those are things that you have to have on hand prior to you know starting your your meal here so it says a salt season with salt and pepper so i mean this is pepper and then salt Repeat the same thing on the opposite side. The order and the way you put your salt and pepper doesn't matter. If you have a preference, it's fine, but I just kind of put it, season it in the order I want. So we'll do salt first, pepper first, doesn't matter. Okay, the next step I'm going to do is I have a pan here that I'm going to place in the oven. I like to use this olive oil spray. I actually purchased this from my local grocery store called HEB. I'm going to go ahead and just place it into the pan. Next, it says to put a little Dijon honey mustard on top of the chicken. It's better if you have a brush. I don't have a brush. So I'm going to be spreading this on with a fork in a little bit. Use what you have. Use what you have. I'm just going to kind of evenly spread that over each chicken piece. 
like that. And you only have to do one side. Don't worry about the underside. So after spreading the honey Dijon mustard, honey mustard on your chicken, you gotta sprinkle on your cheese. I'm just gonna go on top of the chicken. You see, I'm kind of getting some of the cheese on the uh, the bottom of the pan because I don't want that to burn. I will be removing that when I'm done. Getting the cheese on here. So you see I used one pack on two pieces of uh, chicken. I'm going to open the second pack. Do the same thing with the other two. And I'm just eyeballing it. You know what I mean? Next step is to take your crispy fried onion and just kind of smash it with the bag and just it off the corner. Okay, once that's smashed, open that and we'll just sprinkle on top of the chicken. And just kind of mash it down to keep it in place. And again, with the same, I'm going to use one bag on two pieces of chicken. Okay, so the chicken has been placed in the oven. It says to have the chicken in for at least five minutes before you put in the green beans. While that is going on, I'm going to add a little bit of oil. I'm using vegetable oil. I, I normally use olive oil, but I'm out. I don't have any. So, like I said, use what you have. All right, and then we're going to season with salt. Pepper. And garlic powder. Um, yes, they gave garlic powder in this particular package, but this garlic powder is going to be used for the ciabatta bread because we're going to have garlic bread. So I'm saving it for that. Oh, also, I, I washed the green beans prior to putting them in this bowl. This one's kind of mixing it up to coat all the pieces. Green beans. Use this olive oil spray again. I'm going to add a little bit of that. So you're probably wondering, okay, why did you add the vegetable oil and then the olive oil spray? Because it seems like in the past when I would just do the olive oil spray, the green beans were a little bit more dried out than I want them to be. And so that's why I add a little bit of the vegetable oil and I just add a little spray of the olive oil for just a little added flavor to the green beans. All right, so what happens with the green beans, I'm going to put these on the baking dish and they will go in the oven. Okay, and it says they're placed in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. I have an electric oven, so I'm going to put them in for 15 minutes while the chicken's in there in a separate baking dish. So you see the chicken's in there and the green beans in there, and we're going to leave those both in for 15 minutes. Now the chicken's already been in there for 5 minutes, so the chicken will be cooking for a total of 20 minutes. Here I've melted some butter. This will be used for the our garlic bread, the uh, ciabatta. So... All the instructions to so melt that. And look at that. It's warm. And looks like it, I use all of it. Each, both of these, and I can't seem to get it open. And sometimes I have a hard time getting these packages open. There's the stick. Found it easier that time. 
and just mix it in closer. I'm going to mix it in to you so no more powder. I don't know about y'all, but I love butter. Butter, butter, butter. And it said it asked for um, three tablespoons of butter. This is what we have here. All right. And I'm not going to toast the bread. I have a toaster. And I'm not going to toast that until maybe until we have maybe three or four minutes left um, for that the chicken and the green beans. Because I don't want the bread to get cold. All right. So there's our consistency here. My garlic butter. Let's see, let me see what it tastes like. It's good and garlicky. You know what I like to do? I'm gonna add some herbs to this. Be right back. I'm gonna add um, some Italian seasoning to our garlic butter. Bit. This. At least the flavor of those seasonings. You just sprinkle them with your fingers. It kind of releases it in there. So now we have a garlic herb butter. It's going to taste even better. Yes. Much better. And at some point uh, between cooking, some of the toppings started to fall over on the side. So all I did was go in with a fork. Uh, scraped it from the side and just kind of put it back on top of the chicken. See the green beans are coming along. It's been 15 minutes, but I like my green beans a little more charred. So I'm going to leave them in another five minutes along with the chicken and then we'll check the temperature of the chicken just to make sure it's safe to eat. Okay, we're now going to take the ciabatta bread and toast it. There was two, but I cut both of them in half. So I think I'm going to put it that way, this way, and I got this set to bagel. So that should start, you know, doing what it needs to do. You heard the oven, it just beeped. Time for the chicken and green beans to come out. And I'm going to test the temperature of our chicken. Internal temperature should be 165. There you go, 178 and it's still going, so... We're good. Okay, so the bread is out of the toaster. I'm just going to add the butter onto the hot toast. And just spread it on. Ooh, and that is hot. I held on to that a little too long. This piece. Just spread it on. Smaller. Not for you guys. That looks really good. I'm just gonna continue. I'm gonna use all this butter and put it on this bread. So, I'll be right back. Our plated meal with the uh, extra honey mustard on the side looks so good. Can't wait to dig in. 